So I was right. Uru mice. I hope I'm saying it right, and if not, that's how I'm gonna say it. Mice, maybe mice. Ooh, we saw a treasure in that little side part, uh, thanks to the camera angle change. Fine, no, this must be the place. This must be Uru mice. That is. Those strange structures in the distance must be Uru mice, the ancient ruins of Dr. Dr. Usha said. Vaughn, have you noticed something unusual? Yeah, that looks like it's from the future? Um, yeah, there is no mist here. That's right, there's no Genesis tree to be seen, yet the mist doesn't flow in here. Those runes must have the power to hold off the mist. That's cool. Vaughn, Gala, there's no one here. Where could Teague be? Maybe I go nappy nap. Vaughn, do you remember what Dr. Usha said? Of course I do. Very good, Vaughn. Well, let's go dream, like Dr. Yusha told us to do. Then we'll see if Teague will actually give us the fire droplet. Vaughn Gala, there's some weird house here. Let's go inside. Oh, wait! Don't go inside by yourself! <sighs> what are we doing? What are we gonna do with that kid? Be nice to her, maybe? Encourage her? Help her develop and grow into a good, responsible human being. Oh, hey, it's Kara. Well, let's uh, loot this here. Hey, another healing berry. Fantastic. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. There's a book on the desk. Do you wish to read it? Sure. I'm surprised it's still good. The cover reads, Guidelines for Seru Trapping. Seru come out at midnight. A trapper must therefore patrol Uru mice only at sunrise. Uru mace is off limits from sunset to sunrise because that is when the whispers are frequent. A trapper must never wear a captured Seru. A Seru should be sent to Seoul as soon as they are caught. The whispers are the voices of a demon. Trapper never listen to the whispers, even in daytime. A trapper must never touch the three doors on the side of the Uru mice. Vaughn finished reading the book and put it back. Huh. Starting to see if there's anything hidden. Okay, that's uh, strange. Let's see if this is something to read. In Fatal Leathers, a sign reads Warning, Urumais is sole territory. Do not enter without permission of the Emperor. I guess we technically have permission. It said there are doors on the sides. Let's go around this uh, rather alien like structure. Not finding anything. No doors, no. Uh, chess so I guess we'll just uh why wasn't I I was holding O instead of X stupid me um it's a very strange architecture so this is Ur Mice these are strange runes indeed I don't see any place where we could use the rune key from Miss Usha what no what's the matter I hear something. I hear something. It's a voice. I hear a voice. Voice? Vaughn, Noah. I hear it too. Hey, was that star there before? I hear words inside my head. Oh, there are doors now. Different colors. You was key ruins who has door. Dreams will be open. Gather at dream door open. Huh. Three colors that correlate to each of us, I believe. Huh. Whose voice is that? Vaughn, Gala, did you see that light? I saw light down there. Whoever it is seems to have opened the door because we have the room's key. Vaughn, let's go inside. This must mean that this door leads to the fire droplet. Alright, let's go inside. Okay, um... Let's go for the left first. Strategy to the left and monsters to the right. Gonna, I need to take a quick uh, break real fast. So we'll be right back as we enter inside.
Sorry, and that had a phone call that I had to take. Quite a good time, too. And this is a strange uh, corridor. I wonder if we'll run into anything in here. And this already goes on. Oh, I thought I heard laughter. It was just like... Um, I don't know. if we're, Maybe we're going down? Because this is incredibly long. Or maybe it's like, you know, a different dimension. Maybe there was a portal through that door. This is quite lengthy. Holy cheese. That's definitely a portal. Or, never mind. It's... Whoa. What is that? Is that a Genesis tree? Oh, damn bright lights. What's up, Terra? Suddenly, serene words enter Noah's mind. Oh, not Terra, then. Okay. Noah. Noah. Noah and Terra. Welcome, human. Welcome, Rosseru. The stone stage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your mind, Noah. Um... Noah, what's wrong? Noah, where are you going? So this is going to be like one-on- uh, one-person trials or something. It looks like. Vaughn, listen, you can tell by Noah's breathing. She's sound asleep. Gala, Noah's being drawn into Teak's spirit world. She's going to have an important dream now. Trippy. Oh, this is cool, guys. This is cool. Oh, and this is the joy of playing a game blind. King Nebular. Noah. I'm thinking of naming this child Noah. Queen Minia. That's a lovely name. Noah, the promise of a new era. Wait, what? Yes. A new era of, of prosperity and hope. That is what this child represents. Your Majesty. Noah, Princess? Your Majesty, I've come on a most pressing matter. Jet, enter. Do we know this person? Looks familiar, almost like Sanji. I trust Your Majesty is in good spirits? Actually, speaking in a low voice. What? Court did what? Court, don't we know that name? You see, your majesty, speaking level, isn't Court the person we saw on the throne? I understand. I'll go at once. What's happening? What did Court do? Did something happen to Court? It's... It's nothing to worry about. I'm, I'm sure... I, I can't talk now. I'm going below to investigate the matter for myself. Wow, way to communicate with your wife, douche. Noah, Conkum's future, your future. Noah, I want you to have a happy, prosperous future. Okay, so if that's our Noah, then that's her given name, and she's not... I oh, forget the name that people were calling her in Seoul. It's the Mist. Get rid of the Seru. Lock the doors. Whoa, oh, this is from the beginning of the game. I remember that scene. When we're getting the big uh, thing of text that I had to go through like four times because I couldn't read fast enough. Yep, and it stabbed her. Courageous soldiers of Soren, this town of Conquer will soon die. Oh, he's got wings, like also in the beginning of the game. I care nothing of my own life. Let the mist take it. After all, I am the queen. I must share the same fate as this nation. But this newly born child, Noah, I want her to see the future. Please, take this child to a land untouched by the mist. Take her to a world with a future, please. Majesty, your courage is inspiring. I will take Noah as far as I can, however far that may be. Thank you. Now hurry, the mist is getting closer. And he's got wings. He reminds me of the Winglies from Legend of Dragoon. Man, this is, uh, intense. Your Majesty. Go now, hurry, the mist draws near. Whoa! I want wings like that! Is that how we'll get to the floating fortress? Oh, I wanna do that. Oh no. Noah, sorry. Oh, looks like the mist is chasing him, but perhaps there are not many um, flying Seru? <gasps> Mount Rakora. Oh, did he pass out? 
<gasps> oh, it's it's the wolf. I miss that wolf. I was so sad watching it pass. And there's Tara. So, your name is Noah. How do you do, Noah? It's a baby. She can't talk. I'm Tara. I've decided to live with you. Well, that's lovely. Noah, young victim of the whims of fate, the past etched in your mind is now revealed. The pain of your past may have left large scars, and you may gnaw at your heart, but never lose hope, for when there is hope, you can draw strength from the past. That is what being human is all about, for humans are those who, with hope in their hearts, find the future through the past. I like how that sounds, find the future through the past. I'm gonna frickin' jack that from my own book that I really need to get working on again. I'm gonna write that down too, sorry on that guys, but... Find the future through the past. Sorry, I really had to take a note of that, because that's a phenomenal line. The words echo in Noah's mind. Noah, my child, your dream is fulfilled. Um... Okay. That's cool. Noah, are you alright? Uh-huh. Oh, good, good. Oh, I love Noah. Fine, go. Let's go to Conkham after we destroy the floating castle. Someone's waiting for me in Conkham. Someone who knows me. So we have to go to Conkham, okay? Do you promise? I promise. Hey! Fine, look! A ray of light from the... P a ray of light from the pillar? Oh, we're gonna make the drop... Von Gala, someone's there. Um, whoever must be using the light to show us himself to us. Maybe that's T. Von, let's go look. Um, to begin was T. Een was everything, then him into two. Those whom Seru also divide world to human Seru. Okay, I think we should just finish the other rooms that's my guess uh, because I think that'll help bring I'm gonna assume that's Teague uh, bring that entity into ooh, this is nice and pretty uh, into more of a, a corporeal form to where maybe you'll be able to interact with us and also complete sentences <laughs> or complete words I should say because it's completing sentences were just it sounds like it's fading in and out um, so let's go on through this fire door I'm assuming this is for Vaughn this is um, really a cool thing. Shoot, I'm getting important text messages that I have to check. Apologize. All right. Suddenly, serene words enter Vaughn's mind. Fantastic. Vaughn. Vaughn. Oh, sorry. Vaughn and Meta. Welcome, human. Welcome, Rosseru. The stone stage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your minds. Alrighty. Fine, what are you doing? You can't go by yourself! That's right, no one ever saw that in the last one, so it makes sense that she'd be confused. Hey, Vaughn, not you too. What's going on here? But I do like that um, Gala is programmed to react as if this is not the first time, uh, because I, I would not have been surprised with the age of this game if it, you know, didn't. Look, Gala, Vaughn's sleeping. Shh. Noah, can you hear me? You mustn't awaken Vaughn. He's dreaming. Dreams mirror the heart. Vaughn is looking to his own heart, and Teague is watching. Interesting. So, let's gaze into Vaughn's past, I suppose. Well, it might not go into his past, it might go into his desires. Si silent contemplation. When the baby was born, there was too much hemorrhaging. Oh. Yep, this pass. If only we had Drake water, then Nora would have been all right. With this mist, it, could, it would be next to impossible to reach Drake Castle. Reach Drake Castle. Vaughn, 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 what are you doing? Don't eavesdrop like that. That's about me. Welcome home, Vaughn. Welcome home, Vaughn. Village Elder is here, so go pay your respects. 
Ah, Vaughn, you're such a good child. I'll be going now, Vaughn. Take good care of your mother. So it's the birth of our baby sister. I if you can loot anything in here. Oh, it's Nene. Vaughn, you're so grown up now. So please, look after Nene. I promise, Mom. If only we had drink water. If only there was no mist. No mist. Don't worry, Vaughn. I was just talking to myself. Your mother will get better. Oh, how parents lie. Ah, oh, poor Vaughn. Vaughn, it's almost dark. Don't go outside the wall now. I'm assuming he tries... Val! Val! Val, I looked all over the village, but I couldn't find him. I couldn't find Vaughn. Just as I thought. Vaughn must have sneaked outside the wall when we weren't looking. Ah, oh, bugger. Oh no, he must be going to Drake Castle. He must have heard me talking to the village elder. He's going to get Drake water. Can you blame him for wanting to try, man? I mean, it's his mom. Man, that's tough. Val, can't you wait until the wind changes direction in the morning? If I cannot convince you otherwise, then so be it. Or if I cannot convince you otherwise, then so be it. I give my permission to open the gate. Thank you. That is very kind of him. Instead of saying, nope, he fucking went out. His fault. Well, is this how Val gets hurt? Because remember, he's, in the beginning of the game, he's got, like, crutches. Oh dear. Vaughn managed to return safely from Jake Castle, but Val was attacked by a Saru. He survived, but they say his leg will never be the same again. And Nora. Oh, what a poor. F it was in vain? Oh no. Vaughn went out to try to save his mum and return, but his dad went out and. Oh man, that's tough. Poor little Vaughn. Vaughn, do not blame yourself for the past. Do not feel guilty. The past cannot be changed. Instead, you must be brave and work to create the future. That is what it means to be human. For humans are those who are brave enough to create their own future. Ah, oh, man. This dream sequence is really nice. It's really nice, actually. I mean, it's not as intricate and complex as that in Final Fantasy VII, but it's possibly more enjoyable. The words echo in Vaughn's mind. Possibly more enjoyable because it's more understandable, more relatable. Vaughn, my child, your dream is fulfilled. I assume we're going to get it up, and then the one of the beams is going to be glowing yellow or orange or red, whatever color that decides to be. Vaughn, are you alright? You were having a bad dream. Vaughn, if you don't want to tell us about what you're dreaming about, it's okay. I'd tell him. I mean, I'd be vague. I'd be like, just something that happened in my past that I feel guilty about, but I'm learning that I don't need to. Vaughn, Gala, there it is again. There it is again, the light! Sorry, I didn't see there was no token. That light is called the Phantasmal Light. It's activated by your dreams. Phantasmal Light? Vaughn, Gala, that's neat! This is fun! Ozma, you've heard of it before? What? Now, why would a Ross Sarah like you know about the Phantasmal Light? Why? Well, I... Tell me about it if you know. Or the Ross Sarah trying to manipulate us for some purpose. No, that's not it at all. Golly, you must believe me. We just want to talk to your minds rather than explain things with words. Hmm. Well, if you're talking... This th well, if, well, if talking is that disagreeable to you, do what you must, but listen, Ozma. If your intentions ever diverge from mine, then believe me, you won't get away with this. Wow, Gala. Wow. Why are you so angry about Gala? I don't understand. Mm, come on, Vaughn. We have to have the last dream. Huh. So this makes me torn, you know. Are the Rosseru trying to use us for some alternative mean? Um, 
be it good or bad, you know, um, it, it, the secrecy is strange. Uh, or is it just Gala's beer in background that really makes him uh, hesitant? Uh, that is a, a curious thing for me to, to come to learn as we progress in this game more. And uh, I, I'd really like, I really am excited to see what it is. Man, this, is this one longer than the others? God, that, this kind of hurts my eyes. <laughs> oh, good, those uh, beams, those top beams are over. Now it looks like it's time for Gala to dream. Oh, now this is pretty, though it does bring back horrid memories of the Ocarina of Time uh, water temple. And, you know, people say, oh, maybe it wasn't that hard. Maybe it's just because we were young and blah, blah, blah. No, it was that freaking hard. It was annoying, too. Suddenly, serene words enter Gala's mind. Gala. Gala. Gala and Osman. Welcome, human, and welcome, Rosero. The stone sage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your mind, Gala. Gala! Gala! Fong, Gala's walking away! Yep. God, these bright lights hurt. Fong, listen, Gala's snoring. I knew he'd snore. It's funny for him to have. Noah, can you hear me? You mustn't awaken Gala. Gala's dreaming. Dreams mirror the heart. Gala's looking into his own heart, and Teague is watching. I think it's funny that Gala has a rather unattractive feature that he can't control because he's asleep, uh, when he's a guy of such serious nature and self-control uh, through his beer and martial arts. Gala must be the strongest in all of Biran. He has to be. Sanji can train all he wants, but he can never match Gala's spiritual strength. Silence! It's Master Zapu! Eight years have passed since the mist covered the earth. These are difficult times. But I am pleased at how hard each of you is devoting yourself to your training. Now, as you all know, tomorrow is Biran's Transmigration Festival. As always, we will hold the ritual tournament. Gala? Yes, Master Zapu. Sanji? Yes, Master Zapu. As monks of Biran, there are things expected of you. You must fight with all your skills in order to make this chivalrous tournament. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! That is enough training for today. Time to begin your individual tasks. Yes, sir! I miss doing that. Those guys are fun. <sighs> hey, Gala, that ritual term is such a drag, huh? I don't think Gala thinks so. Hey! I don't like that look in your eyes. Gala, I bet you think you're going to win, don't you? No, I... To hell with you! I'm not stupid. I can tell by that look in your eyes. Hm. Ah, forget it. Let's just have ourselves a good time tomorrow, all right? <laughs> ah, Sanji's been a prick for that long, eh? Gala's just trying to be modest and proper, I think. He's a conflicted guy. It's Sanji. Tomorrow's the tournament. If you take Yugo Grass, your body will go numb and you won't be able to fight. Huh? Mind your own business. I can't take this headache anymore. Besides, everyone knows that Yugo Grass is the best thing for a headache. So quit yapping and just give me that Yugo Grass now. Alright, but don't blame me if things go wrong. Huh. Or is this his means of just getting out of it? What a dick. Sanji, do you want water? No! I'm going to take this after I go back to my room. Hmm. She's gonna rat on him? She's gonna rat on him! Wait, what, what did she just figure out? Oh, Gala, this is so embarrassing, but I was afraid that you'd beat me tomorrow, and I knew I shouldn't, but I took Fury Boosts to help me fight better tomorrow. Huh? But as soon as I took them, I started feeling guilty. I felt self-loathing. So here, you take a Fury Boost, too. But why? This is a contest, so we gotta be fair, right? I don't want this to be a fair fight, so go ahead, take it. Oh, I don't know. Alright, I'll do it. Ah, oh, you're gullible. It's that grass. Pretty good. You just gulped that right down. <laughs> okay, let's go. Huh. What a douche. 
Kala, Sanji, are you ready? Sa! In praise of the great benevolence and miracles of Biran, we hold this ritual tournament. Let the tournament begin! What's the matter, Gala? Are you scared? Fight me! Uh... Come on, Gala! It only took a matter of seconds. Gala lost? I don't believe it! <laughs> ah, that's right, I beat Gala! Me, Sanji, I win! Zapu looks really displeased. Sanji, you made Gala take the jingle grass, didn't you? Oh, her. Didn't you? Ah, oh, be quiet. How should I know what medicine he takes anyway? Stop playing dumb. You may think you've tricked Gala, but he knew. He knew all along. What? I told him. I told him that he. I gave you the jingle grass, and I warned him not to take any medicine you gave him. Huh. But Gala just laughed. Oh, Sanji's my best friend. Don't worry, he said. Wow. He had faith in Sanji the whole time, and Sanji's done nothing but betray him again and again. Gala! Darn it, he's sleeping. He's still numb. Gala, you think you're clever, don't you? You think you'd let me win? You're so arrogant. You think it's funny to make a fool of me like that? Some best friend, you hypocrite. You'll never get away with this. Never. I'll crush you, Gala. I'll beat you to a pulp. So him showing his trust in you and his confidence? It, what a dick. Gala, you did your best. You've nothing to be ashamed of. After all, even when unavoidable misfortunes occur, it is the spirit that remains in the end. So be proud of yourself and use the pride to create happiness. That is what it means to be human. For humans are those who create their own happiness with their pride. Huh. I still like Noah's the best. That whole, uh, find the future through the past, I think that is an amazing, an amazing line uh, that I really hope to use, especially in my book as well as a D&D uh, book when it comes to, you know, probably uh, giving confidence to the heroes. The words echo in Gala's mind. Gala, my child, your dream is fulfilled. Yams! Wow! Oh, yeah! I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. Gala, you seem sad. In my dream, I remember something I didn't want to. So that means we're all finished dreaming? Looks that way. These frickin' lights. These frickin' lights! Serene words echo in their minds. You did well, my children. Your dreams are now fulfilled and our souls are recalled to life. We shall teach you the past. We shall teach you the future. That is Teague's gift. That is the mission of Teague, the Seru human, both Seru and human. Interesting. Makes me want to hear the song A Past and Future Secret by Blind Guardian. Love that bit. Look, it's Teague. I can see Teague clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Sorry. Teague, both Seru and human? What will Teague teach us heroes? What is going on? I, I can't do the whole uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z thing. But it is time to call this episode. So we will see what Teague is up to in the next episode of Legend of Gaia. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I will see you then. Take care.